Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and motivated son. I am the diaspora of my people. It has been another beautiful day for a protest, and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Let me first remind you. The front of my sign said, I don't want the white man's money, the white man's woman, the white man's friendship, and all the white man's fame. And the reverse of my sign says, white man, why have you enslaved the African-American, my people? All in all, it was another beautiful day for a protest, and I enjoyed every moment of my protest. And as you know, when I'm finished protesting and give you an update as to my protest, it is always my pleasure and my delight to bring you something of a social nature as it relates to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. My people, let us take a journey back to Union Island. That very beautiful island in the southern Grenadines. And let us do some comparison work here. Four months ago, hurricane barrel struck St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It struck Grenada and the Grenadines. And hurricane barrel did a number on the Grenadines Islands, not so much the mainland of Grenada and St. Vincent and the St. Vincent. But the Grenadines Islands, Karakou and Union Island, especially, was devastated by Hurricane Beryl. Now, what is interesting is that Karakou is almost three times the size of Union Island, if my maths serve me right. They have almost three times the population of Union Island. And therefore, the responsibility of Grenada to Karikou is three times that of the responsibility of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, of St. Vincent to Union Island, where Hurricane Barrel Relief is concerned. My people, let us do the math. The people in Union Island are still waiting to be helped. The Palm Island Resort have been helping some of their employees to try to get back on their feet. Many people have been doing what they can, but the problem is far too big for them to handle. The same thing is happening in, in Kariaku. Unfortunately for Union Island, unfortunately for those people in Kariaku, the government of Grenada have been investing in getting the people of Karakou back on their feet, unlike that of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let us take into consideration here. Mr. Deacon Mitchell, the Prime Minister of Grenada, was born in 1978. A youth, 46 years old. Not in the definition of youth, but in comparison to Ralph Gonsalves. He is a youth. Ralph Gonsalves have been in politics long before this guy was born. Ralph Gonsalves also have a PhD in political science. That means he should have a greater understanding of the ins and outs of politics, the ins and outs of political management far greater than Prime Minister Mitchell of Grenada. So how is it? Ralph Gonza, who is almost twice this man age, have been in politics for longer than this young man, Mr. Deacon Mitchell of Grenada, have been in politics even before he was born. When Deacon was pursuing his degree. Ralph Gonsalves was Prime Minister. Ralph Gonsalves have almost 18 years of administration, administrating a government. 
over this boy, Mr. Mitchell. Sorry for calling you a boy. But in comparison to age, you are a child when compared to a gunsaw's age. And in the politics, political world, you are a political baby when compared to our gunsaw's. So how is it, Mr. Mitchell? The young boy, Dickon Mitchell, is more political astute than Ralph Gonzalez. How is it that he would have the foreknowledge that it is a hurricane season? The Caribbean is expected much more active hurricane than in past hurricane season. How is it that this young man who is a junior on the political scene would have the foreknowledge to buy insurance for the spice industry in Grenada and now is shelling out thousands of dollars to Grenadian farmers. How is it possible? How is it that this child in politics Mr. Dickon Mitchell is able to handle the hurricane very really, really relief with more competence than Ralph Gonsavs who have been involved in politics even before this man was born. When Dickon was going to primary school, secondary school, Ralph Gonsavs was already prime minister. And how is it that this guy will come so far as to surpass Ralph Gonsavs in understanding the administration of a government, in understanding the ins and outs of politics, and is now outshining Ralph Gonsavs? Yet he won't to stay in office for another term. My people, this is the strangest phenomenon I have ever seen. Ralph Gonsavs should have been given counsel to Dickon Mitchell because his experience in politics is valued nothing. A man who just have about three years experience as a prime minister is outshining Ralph Gonsalves who have almost 20 plus years as prime minister. How is this possible? Dickon Mitchell but to open a school and have Ralph Gonsav as a student because this young man is able to teach him what the responsibility of a Prime Minister is. What the responsibility of a leader of a country is. How he ought to manage the economy and the resources of the country to benefit his constituents. Dickel Mitchell, Dickel Mitchell is a boss. Ralph Gonsav is an idiot. It is clear. My people, the senior man, the man with the most experience, is supposed to be the one that has given counsel to the new man, the junior man. But the reality is that the new man is far more astute than the senior man. The new man have a greater understanding of politics and government management than the older man. Remember that when Dickon Mitchell was in high school, Ralph Gonsalves was already prime minister during his second and third term. When Dickon Mitchell was in college, Ralph Gonsalves was Prime Minister. Now this little college student now come out of college, get into politics, and is now functioning on a higher scale than Ralph Gonsalves. How is it possible? Will someone please tell me how can this be possible? I am at a loss, and I am ashamed. <laughs> Oh, my people, my people, my people. You come and see what is happening in Karakou. The man, like he's doing an overhaul of Karakou. He investing in the people of Karakou. He's putting on stronger, 
better and bigger buildings for the citizens of Karakou. While Ralph Gonzalez is spilling stuff in mud, trying to figure out in which pants leg his right foot should go in, Dick and Mitchell is making a wave in Grenada. My people, it's a sad, sad, sad day in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. My name is Tree Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines, favorite and most hated son. The diaspora machismo. I'll talk to you very soon.